Visit our website for more home improvement tips and construction ideas. Okay, you got a room in your house that you want to make bigger. In other words, you're going to need to remove a wall. You need to check to make sure that this wall isn't holding up something important in your house. We have load-bearing walls and non-bearing walls. So if I had a wall in the interior of the house that didn't have any ceiling joists breaking on it, or any um, types of roof supports or floor supports holding up. This wall is not holding anything up. This is a non-bearing wall. A load-bearing wall would be any wall that has ceiling joists or rafters lapping onto it. Now, if you have a wall that's 40 foot long, I mean floor joists that are 40 foot long, um, some of the walls in between might be load-bearing walls. So it's hard to tell sometimes what a load-bearing and what a non-bearing wall is. So what I'm here to tell you, and I, I can't stress this enough, do not remove any walls in your house without finding out if they are load-bearing or non-bearing walls. And some walls might not be load-bearing walls, but they might be structural walls that are built um, to provide strength um, horizontally. So be careful. And like I said, I run into this problem every once in a while, and it's not pretty. I've seen floors and roofs sag because someone removed a wall to make a room a little bit larger. Looking for some home inspection advice, stair building tips, foundation problems and solutions, and even roof framing? Go visit our sites.